还有个第一所尼泊尔选考 permutation string， 所以 string s1 s2 无论是哪处也，就 contains permutation s1 and four other ones。For example， in here s1 is a b， right？ So s1 permutation is either a b or b a， and s2 has that b a here。So are we going to indicate s2？ 啊，就 contain the permutation s1。And example two s1 is still a b， but s2 here we can either a b or b a， so we can f o r m Okay, I think the problem is solution quite straightforward. Next, we need to think about how to solve this problem. So let's reduce example one and use graph drawing on the right side. Okay. You see example uh, one here, we have S1 equal to uh, this A and B, right? And for S2, it has this slightly longer string. So we have E, I, G. E. They have B, A, and 3, O. Okay, now we should have next to build a dictionary for S1 that's sliding window S2. S1 we have dictionary here. Let's use the L for the letter and the count for the frequency of each letter appears. Okay, let's see we have A and B here and both count should be one. Now next thing to build is sliding window on S2. You see S1 has lens two. So starting at the beginning with lens two, we get these two as the initial element for sliding window. So we use this to to build a dictionary. That's right here. Ah, uh, so we have the letter L and now we have the count. Okay. So here we have to add E and I to our dictionary, and both count should be a one, right? Okay. Next thing to check is that this the dictionary saying this dictionary object here is not the same, right? So our next thing to uh move the right one. But before that, let's deduct uh the left element. So uh this one should be changed to zero. And every time you find okay the element frequency is zero, we want to uh delete this element. So we we'll delete this app, right? and then move the uh yeah left point to the next position. So let me replace the right window left the right pointer so that it makes more sense. You see right pointer here, this position, left pointer before this position. Uh, here we want to um, move left pointer to the right pointer's position. So both left and right pointer at this position. Okay, now we have only one element, so we keep moving our right pointer to the next position. And right pointer is at this position now. So if right pointer at this position, we want to add it to our dictionary. You see our dictionary we have uh, this uh, D, the uh, count should be 1. And at this step, we check, okay, this dictionary is still not the same with dictionary, so we have to keep uh, moving the left element. So uh, let's deduct the count for the left element. So I'll change this one from 1 to 0, right? And once we find it 0, we just remove this element from our dictionary. And then we'll move the left one to the next position. Right. So left pointer at this position we have only one element, so we we'll keep moving the right pointer to the next position. And the right pointer is now moving to this B, right? So we we'll add this B to our dictionary. Okay. So write B here and uh write the count equal to one here, right? And so far the this dictionary is still not the same with the dictionary, so we'll keep uh, moving the left pointer. And before that we'll set that point to count from 1 to 0, deducted by 1, right? And then, once we find it 0, we want to uh, remove this element from the dictionary. So, this one from the dictionary, and then we put the left pointer to the next position. Well, at it here, I point at this B, right? And at this step, I uh, want to move the right pointer further because I uh, currently only have one element. So, we we'll move the right pointer to here. And we add this A to a dictionary, so add A here, and the count put 1 here. And at this step, found, okay, this dictionary is exactly the same with this dictionary, right? And if that case means we have found the permutation as 1 and as 2. So we just return true. Okay, I hope my uh, explanation uh, makes sense for you. And now let's dive into the coding a bit. Let's write the string of framework. Okay. 
Yes. Okay, so uh, the first thing we to do is to put it zero, as we did for the slide when we put it. Here we need count for minus one, right? So that's the count of one. And then also need a uh, count of minus two, but this count should be initialized uh, with the first element of S2, uh, with the length of S1. So the count is two, that's that, and then let's say two right, so the start uh, is where our right point will start. Right of that, uh, for length, so minus one minus put out Python synthesization work. Okay, now we show this uh, next thing to move the right point for right to reach the right star. S2 again. And we here we know uh, the right point the maximum range we can move is to the uh, ending of this two right. So right end should be a length. So if plus length S2 here, uh, this indentation will work from a right star uh, to a right end uh, minus one or Python indentation. Work. Okay, the next thing to uh, add this counter to pass S2 at the right plus one. So adding this uh, counter frequency in the, the dictionary. And if found of the counter one equal to counter two, and that will immediately return true. Because we have found the permutation here. Okay. Otherwise, uh, if you don't match, we just keep moving our left pointer. So we have but still the sliding window length so two, right? So that count two at S uh, two at left, that be by one. And if that's there, we found okay, this is zero, not delete the one dictionary. And let me show you why it works. So for example, we have dictionary one. Let's say dictionary one is like this. Okay. Uh, for A, we have a uh, one A, and let's say for B, we have a uh, one B. Uh, let's say okay, a uh, zero B. And for dictionary two, let's say we have only a uh, one A. Okay. Intuitively, we we'll think this is the same because uh, A is one and B is null, right? But if we pass uh, these two dictionary into this argument it will return false because uh, hey here we have empty element and this element uh, is not a same with this noun right so to avoid this case we have to add uh, this line so we delete the uh, uh, zero element from dictionary then we compare this dictionary one and two and we get the uh, true what we want right okay so my explanation works then and now that want to put that point to the next position and finally, uh, we want to return false if we don't find any match uh, in this entire while loop. Uh, sorry, for loop. And let's submit the code so it works. Okay, see the time capacity memory used in this solution is not bad, right? And I think overall the coding part and easy to understand. If uh, you find this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.